Welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, y'all. In the last video, we got to Gerudo Town, and now they're being attacked by swarms of uh, freaking Gibdos here. And, um, hello. Mm. The Sand Shroud, the sudden appearance of the Gibdos, and their hives. Strange events keep happening one after another. And we saw Zelda near Kara Kara Bazaar, but she hasn't been seen anywhere near around Gerudo Town. Mm. There's something bigger going on, but now we need to focus on the problem and prepare to fight. I need your help again. Speak with Buliara and the soldiers and help us organize our defenses. Well, don't mind if I do. Oh, uh, let's see. No, no, that's good. Mm hmm Yeah, for the sake of all this, nothing can happen. So this is kind of one of those missions where you have to pretty basically protect the center of town, or more, mostly just protect her. But in order to do that, we're going to have to set up our defenses around the three... Well, I say corners of the town, but it's more like just the three sides of the town. The northwest side, the southeast side, and the northeast side. This would be a lot less complicated if the town wasn't diagonal on the map, but what are you going to do? So you could just talk to her and go ahead with the battle if you wanted to, but if you come over here, they outnumbered us in the last battle and were able to break our lines, but we won't let that happen this time. We're fully prepared for a long fight that'll challenge our endurance. We won't lose. Yeah, you tell that asshole. Yeah, see, it's all set up right here. The guy's about to let loose and cut loose on the town. We're going to make sure that doesn't happen. We got sand seals out here, too. What do you think of this? Pretty great, am I right? It was all my idea, too. Who else would think to attach a fire fruit to a spear? Ooh, I can feel my fighting spirit yearning to be unleashed with this in hand. Oh, hell yeah, dude, look at that. Well, she's ready to go. What about you? Oh, you got a Lizal horn or something on yours. Uh. If the monsters get through here, it's a straight shot to the shelter. No matter what happens, I won't let anything break through here. You got it. So it sounds like that's the most important entrance. Okay, so I'm thinking I must have misremembered whether or not I played this twice, this part of the game, because I have two different memories now about this part of the game. I remember my first time doing it, I kind of just winged it and followed my instincts, and the second time I did it, I used a walkthrough, and the results were worse than when I just did it off of my instinct, so uh, make of that what you will. Huh? Lady Riju may be the core of our fighting power, but I'm going to do my part. I'll catch those monsters off guard this time, and I'm not going to cry! Sorry, I couldn't resist. I could just hear it in my head before I got to the end of the sentence. Anyway, man, I'm just going to climb over these walls. I don't even care. Okay, so I think in order to actually um, make the plans, you do actually have to talk to Buliara and engage in conversation here. Uh, what's the plan? Talk to Captain Teak in the yard. Work with her to decide how to best deploy our forces. Then... Talk to oh. this chick over here, Pada, in the courtyard. We don't know what color her lips are because she appears to be wearing a mask. If you need anything, you should talk to her. Oh. Do you have questions about preparing for the battle? I guess might as well. Mm. The those we've encountered in the desert do not fall easily when struck. Attacks only seem to dull a blade. But fire, as well as lightning, appear to be very effective. Oh. And I think ice might be too, based on that spear you're carrying, and how well it worked out against that one guy. Anyway. Alright, let's go talk to Teak. The Teak Spoon, you know? Did I talk about that in the LP? That we had like a wooden Teak Spoon or something? I don't remember. Hides of monsters have appeared outside the town walls. It won't be long. Oh, you were also wearing a mask. Okay. How should we deploy our forces? Who should we send? And where? We could spread them out to lightly cover all the gates? Or maybe a concentrated force to protect a weakened position. Oh. We need to decide who to send where. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Okay, I'm going to send the cannoneer oh. to the... Wait a minute. Which one is the north gate? <laughs> I'm assuming the front. Yeah, here oh. we go. Understood. They will defend the north gate. Ah. Alright. The sword troops. Oh. I'm going to put them on the east gate. I don't think this actually really matters ah. that much at all. Because either way, you're going to end up winning just on oh. by sheer force of willpower or whatever oh. spear. We'll put those on the west. Like so. Oh. Yeah, understood. They will defend the west gate. Okay. Oh. Uh, make no changes. We're good. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So that takes care of that part of it. Now you can see all the soldiers are gone here. Except for like this person back here. I wonder what's up with them. I can't worry about the training area right now. Better to focus on the battle at hand. Whew. Stay calm, Sudri. Stay focused. Trust Lady Riju. Sudri. Cool name. It reminds me of Sundry. 
which is like various, various artists' tapes. That used to be a tongue twister when I made mixtapes back in the day. But back then we didn't call them mixtapes, we called them various artists' tapes. Oh. I've been gathering materials that I think might be useful in battle. Feel free to take anything you need from here. Also, I'm confident that I can build a barricade at any of the gates. Would that help you? Let's talk barricades. Ooh. Okay, north is ahead, west to the left, gate is right. I got an idea for a barricade. Use iron barrels and wood. Which gate should I set up? North gate, baby. Ooh. Okay, the barricade has been set up at the north gate. That should slow down any enemies that attack that position. That's for messing up my oh. hand. I'm happy to help you with materials. Uh, let's see. Mm. Guess I gathered up some weapons and the materials to improve them. There's also some food. Oh, and some rupees. <laughs> some of the troops found these strange capsules while patrolling, so those are here too. And of course, if things get really dire, like say if your bows all break, if you run out of arrows in the middle of the battle, I can help you there too. I'm okay. Alright. Well, now you just go kind of basically grab all this stuff. These hydro melons. These hydro scanners. Flame emitters. There was a stake in there. That was kind of weird. Well, let's see. Let's see what's in these ball head here. More arrows, I would imagine. There's also some chests over here, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, wow, look at this. Here, hang on a second. What do we got here? We have... Whoop, ba, 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 ba. We have a Gerudo Claymore. Jeez Louise. Wow, okay. Uh-huh. Unless we didn't have this one either. Gerudo Scimitar. The great thing about Gerudo weapons in this game is that most of them have strong fusion, which means basically, whatever you fuse to them, it doubles the power of that fusion. So that is surprisingly useful. But also be wary, because Gerudo weapons are not the best as far as durability goes. So, you know. It's just a thing. A hundred rupees there. Electric Lazal horn there, I guess. Okay. I guess they kind of meant for you to kind of make your own way here. Topaz. Oh, yeah. So I'm a little bit lacking in inventory space for my swords right now, but I can probably drop this. Drop this torch. I don't think I really need this either, even though it is kind of fresh. I'm not going to mess with it. I still have my uh, Thunder Gleok spear. Good lord. Yeah, I'm going to take all these. We're going to make good use of this shit, man. Let me tell you. We are going to put some Thunder Horns, Gleok Thunder Horns. At least one of those. Let's see, what else do we have here that's like elemental, though? Because, mm. like, you can use all the Lionel parts you want, but if you don't have the elemental stuff, then it's not really going to help too much. We could use a Dinral's Horn. And, uh, hmm, do we have anything ice-based here? It's Ferocious Horn. Like, I have a Nadra's Horn, but I don't have one of it, so I'm not sure. I could probably use a Nadra Spike. No, I have so many Gleok horns, I'll just use another one of these. So we'll just drop these on the ground here, and then we'll go... Ba -da -ba -ba. Gerudo Spear, we'll put that on there like that. And double fusion, baby. Yeah, this shit's nasty, let me tell you. So, Gleok Thunder Horn on you. That's pretty good. And Scimitar with the Dinral's Horn. Yeah, look at this. Oh, it's ridiculous. We can still pick these up, like, there's no reason not to. Especially those bomb flowers. You never know when you're not going to have enough of those. So I think we're pretty much prepared here now. Let's go ahead and start the fight, I suppose. What am I doing in here? Let's send out of this. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, what's up, my ladies? I think we're ready to go here. Mm. Are the preparations complete? They are. Oh, shoot. I wanted to, like, maybe set up some Zonai devices, too. I was going to, like, get some little guys to crawl around the little, uh, Whatever you call them. The homing carts or whatever. Those can always be pretty fun to play around with. I can still do that, I guess. I mean, I think you would almost have to wait till after the fight started to do it anyway, because they'd probably despawn during the cutscene if you did it now. Hmm. Link. I'm curious about what that voice we heard earlier, but... Hmm. Not the time. Well, here we go. Let the fun begin, y'all. Yeah. Situation report. Large numbers of Gibdos are moving to attack the town. Before anything else, we'll need to deal with this. Man, I have no idea where I'm going to go first here. Probably going to head to the West Gate. Because that's the one with the spears, and I figure spears are kind of the weakest weapon. Although, really, I don't know. 
they have their advantages, and the advantages are many. Well, you are. They have the town surrounded. Stay strong! This threat is also an opportunity. Fight well, and we can wipe them out in one battle. Hives and all. Oh, jeez. Okay. Prepare yourselves for battle. Oh my gosh, she has more badass poses. Everyone, protect our chief. Protect our town. Protect the innocent. I'm going this way. Oh yeah, and I guess she has her thing too that she's doing the whole time. We can use that. Shore up the defenses. Knuckle up! No, oh, I just had to. All right, let's get out here. So she, she's already got these guys in a ring, so let's go ahead and take some out then. Royal Guard's bow. Whatever, now you're dead. Let's see a little statue out there. So, uh, no, we gotta wait for those to be open for that to actually work. So maybe just. Mm. Enemies are pouring out of the hive near the north gate too. Take them out. Take them out. Okay, I'm just gonna go to the next gate then. Yeah, the hardest part about this is just going from one gate to the next because it takes so long to get across town. And obviously, there's better ways to do it than this. But what I'm doing is just running here. So coming out the north gate, but we have the. Oh wow, they got through those pretty fast, didn't they? Oh, let's uh, let's do that right there. Yeah. All right, good job. Oh, hey, the thing's open. Let's uh. Boom! There we go. That hive is out of action. How are you doing in here? Here, let me help you. <laughs> Alright, go into the west gate. Yeah, it's not really recommended to go from one to the opposite side. Like, don't go from east to west or west to east. Just because of how long it takes to get across. You can go, like, to the north and then whatever. Keep your eye on the map, too, because the little white dots will show you. Or stuff. Oh, it's already... Oh, it's, it's good. Wait, is my bow broken? Jeez Louise, man. What a time for that to happen. 32 times 3, let's go! Oh, uh, you blocked it. Good job, sir. Yeah, I wasn't trying to do that at all. Holy crap, let's change this around. Let's get some thunder in here. Yeah, that's right. The thing is in range, but the thing is closed, so... Mm, yeah. Alright, strangely enough. Nice. Oh my god, somehow that caught the thing in the blast radius. There are Gibdo bones all over the place out here. Is this really the time, though? I don't know. All right, we got to get back to the east gate. They're probably coming in that way. You can see Riju's life bar on the left side of the screen, so if that starts going down, probably means she's in trouble and you should get over there and uh, help her out. Because there's only so much they can do here. So we're going to take care of you while we're in here. Oh, boy, that doesn't look good. Yeah, take care of that before he gets to her. And now I'm just going to climb over this wall again because it's the fastest way. You can also pretty much see them on the map all the time, so if you need to just kind of, you know, do that, catch a little glimpse of where- Oh, there's one that got through over there. No, you don't want to let them get through, honestly, like even if you're on a- Oh, wait, no, that one's dead. Okay, they must have killed it. Wait, no, maybe they didn't. I don't know. He was invisible for a second there. I'm just going to go for the, um, I'm just going to go for the big boy. First, we'll take care of that. So while we're waiting for her thing to charge out and get out to the range here. Should be about time for you to... I'm just gonna wait it out. Where is this red dot that I'm looking at here? I see a red dot, but I don't see a monster. Oh, it's a thing. Okay, uh, take care of you. Yeah, I don't think they actually open until you wipe out the rest of them. Okay. Ooh, that's something. Riju is under attack, but so are they! Oh, it's the last of the hive. All we have to do. Oh my god. Holy shit. I'm sorry, Link. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that, that just happened, didn't it? The thunder's just a noise, boys. Lightning does the work. If there was anything there, it's not there now. She's like, what? Alright, what do we got left here? Looks like only the east gate, or west gate, rather. Well, let's head back over there. It's been a little messier than I planned, but, uh... Oh, get up those walls. Boy, they're moving all over the place, aren't they? Oh, I see some empty life bars here, so I think they must have finished those off. I mean, where are you going? What are you? I see this red spot moving like crazy all over the map here. Where is... What is that? Is that a flyer? Huh. Don't press... Oh, wow, it's one of you. Get you out of there. 
Those freaking crawlers are so creepy, man. I didn't even see that guy there. Oh, I forgot that those could show up this early. Darn tootin', y'all. We did it. Oh? Link, I'm incredibly grateful for your help in the battle. On behalf of all of Gerudo, thank you. I suspect the Gibdo threat will calm down a bit now that we've wiped out the hives that were surrounding the town. Mm. I noticed that the hives crumbled into sand when we destroyed them. I wonder if the Gibdos have some kind of connection to the sand. Or maybe... Ooh. If only we had Anakin Skywalker here right now. Boy, he would definitely wipe them out in a hurry. Hmm. There's something you should see. Come down to the mural in the underground shelter. The mural, you say? Well, if only I had the opposite of Ascend, I could just go straight to it. But instead, we have to go the long way. That's too bad. Fortunately, it's not too far. Hey, can you open the door for me? Or do I have to talk to you? I have to talk to you, don't I? You fought well against the Gibdos. Yeah, well, my powers have doubled since we last met, Your Highness. <laughs> I love how the rest of the door kind of moves with it, because of how it's built. It's really cool. Anyway, we we'll just go straight to the back here, just like you would if you were going to the throne. And say howdy. Hmm. Oh, Link, you came. Look at the mural on this wall. I see an upside-down triangle, a bunch of candles, and some fire. It appears that when they created it, they were also using this shelter to hide. Perhaps the Gerudo of the distant past were also beset by some great disaster. Anyway, the writing on the mural says, Standing back-to-back -back with the throne, witness red pillars across a vast sea. Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. You who can hear my voice, come to me, I await you. That mysterious voice that spoke to us. Its words reminded me of this mural. Mm -hmm. Oh, the lighting. So beautiful. This image must represent a location of some kind, and the engraved words are a riddle to discovering its location. It's the only explanation that makes any sense. Red pillars and light, huh? Gee, I wonder. Mm -hmm. the writing on the wall says, standing back to back with the throne. Okay, mm -hmm. I wasn't sure if you were just going to repeat yourself or whatever. So now we just ascend here. Should bring us back to the throne room. This puzzle is actually really cool. Oh god, where are we? We are... Ah, oh, we're right next to the throne. Okay. Over here. Huh. Okay, so maybe the mural was a little further back. Anyway, what she means by that, standing back to back with the throne, is if you stand here... Well, shoot. I think if you stand here... I mean, anyway, that's the three pillars right back there. So, once we can get to those, we can progress this whole nonsense and see what awaits us in the future. But I think the first thing I should do... Let's probably go ahead and take care of this shrine up here. It's a bit of a climb to get to it, but, uh... You know what they say. Sudden changes in light always mean a good thing. There we go. Oh man, that just put us right next to it. Hell yeah. Sorio Tanog Shrine. <laughs> We're gonna be seeing a lot of shrines around here that we kinda... Well, I mean, of course we've never seen them. What are you talking about? Buried light. Oh, yeah, okay, and it's this one. Alright. Do we have any spare weapons that we can... I'm gonna hate to waste an eightfold blade on that, but at the same time... Well, I guess we'll have to just build a fan out then, won't we? Alright, let's use it like that. And now with the fan on our sword, we can blow, 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 and blow! Just like in Skyward Sword. Oh, yeah. I used to love those puzzles. Yeah, Skyward Sword had its issues, but I don't think that, uh... I don't think this was one of them. I really rather enjoyed this part of the game. It just felt good to do. So is this gonna be a key, or what? What are we looking at here? It is gonna be a key, okay. Because I was gonna say, I didn't know, uh... See any other way to go here. Ooh, do we want to get a second one? Then we'll save that for later. Just in case we need it. Obviously, it's not all, not all going to be that simple, though. Not as simple as just roaring, blazing walls. Oh, I was going to try to hit you with a thing, but never mind. We have mirrors in here, too, don't we? Let's see a little pile of sand over here. Let's see what this is. Uh oh. That's a secret passage. The secret passage! Yeah! <laughs> oh, wow. Didn't expect to see one of y'all in here. You know what, I'll just... Yeah. 
It's so much simpler that way. Those were the days, I tell ya. You're also gonna need a fan when you get up there, so you might wanna like... Uh, do the recall thing with this one, I'm not sure. Otherwise, we should be able to just get up here. Because then you need the fan to blow away the sand up here, too. Since I already have a guster, I don't have to worry about that. Hell yeah. Alright, not too shabby. Let's, uh, let's grab it. Ten arrows. You know, better than a sharp stick in the eye. Even though that kind of is a stick in the eye. We have one of those on the wall. We got a mirror here. Well, it looks like maybe we can ascend through this right here to get behind whatever that cage is in the thing. That cage the elephant over here. What? Oh, I said, oh, I, oh man, I just, that made my leg move when he did that. Like, holy crap. I was actually that shocked by it. Oh, this looks important. Ah, oh, it's the source of light. There we go. Now that makes some motive of sense here. Oh, and there goes my fan guster. Looks like we had just enough to get this shrine done. Because I assume that's all we're needing to do with the fan gusters. Anyway, so all we need to do is make sure the light's kind of hard to see, but you want to make sure the light is going through the cage here so that it actually gets into the other room. So that way we can reroute it to the switch. Or, if you want to try that little trick with, like, the five-shot arrows and a dazzle fruit, you might be able to just trigger the switch without doing any of this crap. But I'm not going to mess with that right now. Even though I have heard it is a thing. So all we gotta do is face this toward the thing and get it in there, and there we go! This is actually pretty interesting. This room is, like, slightly bigger than some of the other ones. It's got this little... Thing, I don't know what you call that. Like, I know it's like an indentation, but maybe just a an outcropping? I, mean, I don't know. There's gotta be a word for that. I don't know. Whatever. Whoa, we did it! Oh, wow, you can totally see the thing from here. Like the, uh, the geoglyph or whatever you call it. Oh, geez, it's hot again. Oh, what do you do? Well, at least we'll be able to jump to this from here, which will actually be a lot easier, but let me change my close so we don't have to deal with that. Guess I'll put stealth gear on for the rest of it. And then, uh, do I still have my sapphire? Yeah, there we go. Keep ourselves nice and cool. Alright, we're just gonna fly over all this mess right here. Wait, where's Tulin at? Oh, maybe it's not out because I'm still in town? There we go. So you can't use Tulin while you're in a town. Gotta keep that in mind. Ooh. I love the look of those little ant hills or whatever that is with all the little holes in them. Like, I hate the idea of holes and skin and stuff like that. I have that thing. Whatever that's called, I always forget. Oh, no, I wasn't trying to shoot. But I suppose if you want me to shoot, you can do that. Here we go. I was going to save this puzzle for the next episode, but I think we can. I think we got time to work it in here. Oh, let's see. Looks like I need a bomb for this. Usually I would just bomb arrow, but I think I'll just throw one for this. Boom. Jeez. Creates a light just going out into the wild blue yonder. Where's that headed though? I don't know. That sure looks higher than you think you would be able to ascend there, but yeah, it's, it works for us. So pretty much just get up here and then jump off the top and just follow the light. You know what I might do? Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, here we go. Let's get up way up here. Way the hell up here. There we go. Now look how much you can see from here. You can actually see another piece of the puzzle right there. Some mushrooms over there, you can see the town. Man, you can see so much from here. Okay, but for the time being, we're just following the light, so let's go. We're gonna tool in as often as we can here. Now eventually, naturally, you're gonna fall back into the sandstorm. It's just, you can't really help that, but... We can make some distance here, while we still have the ability to see where we're going. But even when you're in the sandstorm, you can still see the light. So all you really have to do is just make sure you're following the light in the right direction. Because that kind of helps too, if you know what I mean. It's going to be a while before we can see where this is taking us. We can't even see it now. And we're about to fall into the sandstorm, so... There'll be a brief period where you won't be able to see it, but there it is right there. Oh yeah, trying to stay up high here. Don't want to run into any of the crap that's in the ground. Alright. 
And then this is it right here. This is uh, basically the same as the thing we saw earlier. And what we need to do is turn these in such a way so that the light gets reflected. But also, you can see, you want the light to reflect off this mirror here. But this platform seems to be too low. So what are we going to do about that? Well, I'm going to start by getting on top. Because chances are the solution to this is going to be up there. If it's not, then, well, I got a really bad memory here. Ooh, it looks like we're on our own against the Gerudos here. You can also use bomb arrows against these guys, actually. These, uh, Gibdos, I mean. It actually works, too. This fire is an element, after all. And it just kind of wipes them out, no problem. <laughs> Tooling can't do much against them, but then again, it's okay. There is, like, a little thing nearby here. Which, if I had to guess, it's probably connected. Ah, yeah, here we go. question is, is this going to do what we want it to do? Well, you can kind of see the pillar in the distance moving upward. We want to get it so that it actually intersects with the light that's towards it. And once it does that... Oh wow, the triangle is complete. Well, it looks like the third one's already done because it's made a full triangle. That's weird. <laughs> well, I thought you would have had to do something with the third... I mean, I assume we still have to go to the third one. But then what would you need to do there? Oh, I know what. Because the third one is reflecting the light, but the light that it's reflecting is not connecting back to the first one. So that's what the problem is here. So we will need to do that. Actually, I probably should have just jumped like I did the first time. But let's go along the ground this time. In fact, let's just sled. Hell, even better. Yeah, baby. Ooh, look at us go, yeah. Hopefully we don't run into any of that weird sand, although we may. We may yet hit it. It's a fortunate thing they made this all downhill like this to make this so much easier. I don't know if this necessarily is downhill. Oh, we're getting pretty close to it already. Well, there's another one of those things with the holes. And there's our conveniently placed updraft next to it. Wait, are these like just arrows sticking in the ground here? What the hell's going on around here? I'm not going to waste bombs on these, though. I'm really not. I'll just do stock fruit, I guess. Bam, just like that. Or if you wanted to, we could just use some of the stuff we made. Man, just look at all the damage that does on top of it, though. And we really probably should be picking up these Gibdo bones. It doesn't hurt to have them. The funny thing about the Gibdos is they always have weapons sticking out of them, so there's like this implication that there's a history, but a lot of people have tried to fight them and unsuccessfully. It's just really funny. I mean, it's not funny, you know, the idea of people dying to them, but still. It's funny because the former fighters are stupid. Too stupid to know what to do against them. So we have a hover stone kind of baked in here. Don't know why that's here, but I can... I can, uh, fathom a few theories. Wait a minute, this is not activated yet, is it? Here, let's activate it first. It's gonna start using battery power, but no big deal. And I'm gonna set this right here. But we're gonna need a second one, I'm pretty sure. Or... Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, we need the handles of this, don't we? Well, how many handles do we need? Is it just one? No, oh, it's two. There's two of them. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do then is just set the handles up on top of this. This took me forever to figure out my first time, because I didn't understand a lot about how things worked in the game. And so, you know, I just had to play around with stuff, and eventually I got things to work, but man... I'd love to go back and see a video of myself attempting this for the first time. Because whatever I did, it took me seemingly forever to do it. Eventually I did do it, though. So I'll just set that one right there. And now we can just ascend through this one. And we can kind of just hum the hum and work our way to the top here. We also need to get those on top, though. Those handles. So I'm just going to move this into a better spot here. I want this in a spot where I can ascend up to this one. So I'm going to put it right there, because you can see the shadow on the one that I'm standing on now. Now we're going to move these handles up here. Like so. Well, I thought I had a better grasp of what was going on here, but apparently I don't. Huh. Okay. Well, hang on a second here. If I can get the handles up there, I don't think the rest of it matters too much, because I can just ascend myself. But if I just do this right here, throw it out, move it up and pull it back, and then just turn it around and drop it, yeah, it'll stay, it'll be up there. Okay, good. Let's do the same thing here. You can't see what I'm doing. I'm pushing it out with the D-pad, moving it up with the right stick, turning around, and then just dropping it. That's not really what I did with the first one, but oh well. Nobody needs to know. 
Oh. Can we... There we go. <laughs> it's gonna be the most narrow ascension ever, let me tell you. Oh, shoot. This platform is, uh... Not quite the way I thought it was. Wait, did I somehow maybe put the other one up there? I didn't, like, drop... Oh, I did drop it on the floor. Well, crap. Yeah, I think if I could do this over, I probably would have attached the two together so to make sure I didn't lose one of them. <laughs> yeah, because we still have to actually attach them to the thing up here. Oh god, it's getting cold. I right, want to pull this down enough so that you can actually reach them with Ultra Hand after you uh, ascend. Or so that when you grab them from down here, you can actually get them high enough to set them on top of this platform. Like, you could do it either way, but a lot of it just depends on you being able to reach stuff from where you certainly are. From where you certainly are. Yeah, that's what I said. I said from where you certainly are. There's always multiple solutions to any given problem. And I'm sure what I did there was not optimal for that, but oh well. Too late now. Alright, let's pull these apart, and I don't think it matters. Like, as long as you have two of them, you can turn it, so... As far as that goes, I'm pretty sure you could turn it with even one of them, couldn't you? Oh my god, you can actually turn it with one of them. The question is, do we want to go up, or do we want to go down? So basically, just watch the light and see if it's getting closer or further away. No, it's getting further away. We want it to be getting closer to the first light, so we're going to turn it back this way a little bit. And... How's that? Man, that is so cool. It reminds me of that puzzle in Wind Waker, where you make the big triangle across the ocean. Oh, where do you see this, though? Oh, this is only the beginning, man. Oh. Well, okay. Alright. Well, I kind of thought we'd see something a little bigger than that, but... That John Denver's full of shit, man! No, we gotta get back to the town, though. So, uh, go back talk to Riju, actually. She might already be there. Well, it's probably better to just jump in from here. Oh, uh, let's do that then. <laughs> well, let's tool in our way. Now our battery's all filled up after being mercilessly pounded by those hover stones just now. So again, we're kind of going to have to play it by ear a little bit here. So you're not going to be able to see where you're going. But also, you don't want to fly over it, so like, oh, we're already on the ground, never mind. <laughs> well, basically, the idea is you need to get in the center of the triangle, which to some extent you could probably tell just by looking at the lights when you're in the center of it. But more or less, you kind of just want to fly to it. Oh, God. I'm expecting to see you here. <laughs> Did you see that, Link? It's Zelda! What? She's gone? Oh, she's gone! Just, what? You're not even singing it in the right key that time, dude. Seriously. What the heck, man? Where did Zelda go? Who cares? Mm. Who cares where that bitch went? No, I'm just kidding. I saw the lights of the red pillars and I hurried here as quickly as I could. Man, it's cold out here. I cannot be a coincidence that we've seen someone who looked like Zelda twice, but a mystery for another oh. time. Did you solve the mural's riddle when it caused us to appear? I'm impressed. I can't believe I've been living here for 2,000 years and have never knew that this was here. Oh, maybe your lightning strike is the key. Let's find out. Oh, yeah. Oh, this shit's about to get real now. I thought it was about to get real just now when that thing sprung up, but... No, okay. So, you know what's funny? I remember them showing part of this scene in the previews for this game. And, like, you could clearly see the sand falling right here, this shot right here. The sand falling off of the fortress as it rises. And people were, like, well, at least one video that I saw, I don't remember who it was, they were speculating that that was Hyrule Castle coming out of the ground. I'm like, what? Like, how could that be Hyrule Castle? That's sand. But that's clearly something else. Well, I didn't imagine it would be this, though. Oh, yeah, this is it. This is it, y'all. This is our fourth and sort of final temple. Uh, more on that later. Either way, Reach's power of lightning. When Reach's R is charged, you can call her up for a lightning attack. Oh, baby. Well, she's with us for good now. Okay, so... Well, that's no small 
potatoes right there, I'll tell you what. But I guess we'll I guess we'll be doing that next time on Tears of the Kingdom Zelda. Well, no, it's Tears of the Kingdom Mario, you dummy. Yeah, this wasn't here before. Dragon's X out? Like, yeah, we've been down here, but man. You don't realize how much of the desert this takes up. Jeez Louise, man. This is cool, let me tell you. I cannot wait to do this. And I'm probably going to flub it up. But I guess we'll see. Anyway, take care, you guys. I'll see you back here next time for the Lightning Temple. Goodbye!